Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Treasure. That is what you are. You're my golden star. Hey, dudes and girls, welcome back to A Million Treasures. It's me, Brian C. And it's me, Ryan C. And we are back, back with another video. video. So you guys, before you jump into today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And push the push notifications button down below so you guys can miss out on our videos. And because it's free, make sure you hit it, put it, what she said. Just to click things that we are saying, don't forget to push the push notifications button down below so you guys don't miss out on another one of our videos. And because it's free, make sure you hit it, hit it, put it, what she said. So you guys, today's video is going to be about a black man was anxious to walk in his own neighborhood only to come and find out that 75 of his neighbors were willing to walk with him in their community. Now with that being said, today we are shining the spotlight on Sean Drum Goldley in the 12 South neighborhood. Sean was anxious to walk his own neighborhood, especially after going on Facebook and finding posts and reading posts that stated be suspicious of black men and things in that area. Now, why when you open an app should that be something you have to read? So yeah, just to touch bases on this really, really quick, no black person, man or woman should ever have to open an app that should be used for good have to open and see be suspicious because of your color your color doesn't make you okay you shouldn't no one should have to be judged by that's, their color that's really now and if sad. if other people in mr in mr sean's neighborhood of if other races of, of color was being brought to their awareness that they had to look at a post like that that would not be right. So just this that 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 was frightening right there Everybody, because that they just need to be polite. It's like you're in your hometown and your neighborhood that you spent your life there and you have to look at a post like that. Why? We we shouldn't have to be terrified to walk our own street or our own neighborhood and have to worry about will we make it a home life alive. That shouldn't even have to cross our mind. Now Back to this story, you guys. Mr. Sean put up a post and stated how he was feeling. Basically saying, he, after he talked to his mom, you guys, he, he went on Facebook and made a post stating how he was feeling. And, would, and went to the next door post, and, and went to the next door page that was a page created for his neighborhood. And I'm going to come and find out, Mr. Sean wasn't creating that post to get attention like that he was just trying to state his feelings and how he felt now only to come and find out neighbors across his neighborhood you guys all came together to walk with sean that's that's really that's a big thing that's a now, really big thing it is because mr sean wasn't expecting it and he was it's like a surprise kind of like you came to walk with me and it started out with him and then his mom and then the crowd gradually grew and grew now with that being said guys we are so amazed because that was just very generous and considerate of the neighbors they didn't have to do that they didn't and and they and mr sean stated that his neighborhood was wasn't feeling like it itself some it was just feeling off and he was just kind of at unease and so for his neighborhood to come together and for neighbors to get to know each other and just feel like a neighborhood and community again that was just so awesome and so amazing and just and so was, well mannered getting to know each other and it's a good it was, it was, i bet mean, it was really fun especially to walk like it was it, was it it was a really great outing because while mm -hmm. everyone still maintained their distance and had their face mask on it was just a nice community contribution you guys mm -hmm. that's that's really positive just stay positive stay safe and 
be the reason careful. why we said we were shining the spotlight on Mr. Sean was because he he could have been so afraid to even put that post up, not knowing, you know, what kind mm -hmm. of attention it was going to receive. So by him just taking a leap on faith and putting that post up, he got so much positivity back. So much love. And now you guys, what turned into something small is growing bigger mm -hmm. because Mr. Sean bought his first ticket for mm -hmm. July 4th to fly in and organize a walk in Philadelphia. Now, Mr. Sean mm -hmm. is hoping he can just do, create a walk and organize a walk in multiple cities, you guys, just to bring and start a new movement and just bring happiness happiness and joy back to communities that fell apart over time. Mr. Sean created a GoFundMe page and it reached an amount of $7,000, you guys, and he is using That's that really money good. to organize walks in different cities. That's really good. And just the thing, like, people was, like, really helping and staying positive and doing a lot to help him. That's really good. It is. Now, with that being said, we wanted to say, Sean Drum Goli in 12 South Neighborhood. You guys are all true gems and jewels. Okay, guys, that's your club for today. Until next time, switches. Shine bright like a